We'll wait for some people to get in here. We're in the open pilot lounge. All right, and Harold's coming over to join us. He's right around the corner. So Harold's here. He's joining us remotely from his comma body. And we'll go, uh, Harold is going to lead us to his office. So this Kama body has a hat and training wheels. It's one of a kind right now. And it's being remotely controlled. stuck now. Nope. This is the first step in shipping comma security to your comma body. And telepresence. Harold, do you want to show us? Uh, welcome to the control center. This is the website Harold's been working on the Dude, last couple of weeks. How cool is this? Did you see how smoothly I made it over here? I only got stuck once. Yes, this is an experiment we've been working on on the Kama body. So uh, you can control the body from uh, from a website we're making. And we're going to just experiment. You can come show the, the website, I guess. It's very primitive right now, but we wanted to get some cool stuff working. So you just. You know, we've got a live stream you can control, uh, you know, with the keyboard. Just some experiments we've been working on. Tesla uh, bot competitor. Exactly. Look at this. Doesn't this look so much better than Tesla bot? It doesn't have to walk, so, you know, we've got that problem fixed. We can show off the hat. It kind of looks like a crown. Oh, yeah, I got the little crown here. That was just for some localization tracking experiments. Unclear what the future of that is. But, you know, the wheels help a lot on the carpet. So, uh, yeah, we've been driving around. It's pretty cool. We'll see, uh, we'll see what comes of it. We kind of maybe can clean it up, and we can uh, we can have some wheels in the store. Maybe we'll have some kind of security uh, security website you can go to. And you can log into your body from anywhere. Just drive around the office. That was kind of the idea. Uh, you want know, to tell me about your dream? What's my dream? Oh, about the the oh, rover. Yeah. My real dream is we put the uh, put the the Comma Three on a Mars rover, and we send it to Mars, California, which is a real town in California that looks like Mars. And just, you know, you can, we can log in from the office and we can drive our uh, real Mars rover around. So that's the long-term dream, but for now, it's just uh, in-office security. So uh, we'll see how far we get. Uh, yeah, what do you got next for us, Adi? You wanna... Oh, we should introduce ourselves. Oh, this, yeah, is the, this is the part we forgot All last right. time. We'll do this this time. Right. So I'm Harold, I'm CTO at Comma. Been mm. here for a while. I'm Adib. I work on OpenPilot here at Comma. Adib's in charge of OpenPilot. You know, he gets all the PRs merged or rejected if they're not good. So. All right, and then let's should we go to some empty rooms. We're hiring yeah, for we can, quite a few positions. We can, hire, we, can show, we can show the two empty rooms, I guess. Yeah. That's what we're more interested in hiring for, right? You guys so, might see, uh, we've got some beautiful metrics up here. Oh yeah, we've really been putting in a lot. We should of have this engagement metric. Yeah, Those are really cool. Engagement metrics are cool. This Dude. is something we've been recently working on. It's uh, Weixing, our driver monitoring guy, made all these. So it just kind of shows all these different classes of disengagements, which is like either longitudinal or lateral or you know if it's turning turning too tight not turning tight enough whether it's uh you know some kind of low speed disengagement whether it's followed by a hard break or excel by the user so it'll kind of help us narrow down what people are disengaging for and hopefully you know fix issues more in a more directed way yeah and then we've got the controls metric one up there 
You can compare like your individual car to uh, the average of the fleet. And you can kind of see whether, uh, how good your car is compared to like the top open pile experiences. Yeah, I mean, we've been struggling a little bit. Sometimes we've got cars that, you know, are performing differently. And if we don't have them, uh, there's been an issue so far in trying to make them sure they perform well. But with these kind of metrics, we can, we can hopefully understand what's happening even if we don't uh, perform on ourselves. What else do we have to show here? I guess nothing here. Nothing here. So we've got two main rooms that are open, ready for hiring. 51. What is this one in the web room, Nadine? Yes. This is for the web team. The web team is one person right now, and he works in the open pilot office. But once it's two people, this will be your room. We're even going to get a cool neon sign like that one in here. We'll once it's the web room. Web? Uh, web two. Yeah, I think web it's three. Web three. It can be whatever you want it to say. Web four. Um, and then we've got one more open pilot office here. That's empty. What's this one for? Uh, this is just for any open pilot engineer who wants to come work here. It's just overflow. Yeah. We can show you guys the main office too, we briefly. The hangout. This is a nice open pilot hangout. I don't know. Did we have furniture last time we streamed? Probably not. Uh, I think we we did stream from here. And then uh, this is where the open pilot team works right now. Cameron is on the web team, so you'll join him if you uh, join the web team, and you guys will move over. To the web room. I'm watching you guys. <laughs> All right, cool. We can uh, show the old pilot hangout number two, just in case people think it's not fun enough. You know? <laughs> the whole other hangout space. Ready for some chilling. All right, should we go to the Ford? Yeah, let's uh, check out the Ford. So what are we going to do? We're just going to demo 092. Yes. Uh, we can talk about some of the nice UI updates, sure. the Ford. Is it down there? Yeah, sensors. It's also so confusing. It's still keeping lost. Did you know about those bathrooms? I didn't know about them until like last week. What, what do you mean? That there's bathrooms around? Yeah. This guy's saying bathing in PR. So we have really good PR. We're doing PR right now. Oh, that kind of PR. This is PR. Right. What, what, should we say something? Should we show off our uh, new testing oh, stand? Oh, this is cool, yeah. This is our... Uh, so, you know, we've been trying to tackle some kind of heat issues, like the device uh, needing to cool down, people going on and stuff like that. With this, we can simulate the sun. Uh, it should be a full Texas mode. Or I don't, I don't know where Dubai is that also hot. I saw the Tesla did their testing there. All right, we've got the Bronco right here. Yeah, I think it's a better angle. Ready, so this is uh, newly supported as of the coming release? Yes. And give some more information you want to give about the, the Ford in general? So we're showing off uh, the Ford Bronco Sport. This is our personal Ford that we have in our fleet. Um, it's new in this release. The Fords are quite a nice platform, somewhat similar to Toyota where they're mostly the same. Oh, the stream quality is like a potato. I don't know if we can fix that. Are you in Wi-Fi or LTE? Oh, I just switched to LTE. Let's oh, see. It? Is my bars? My... No, we did us on the road while you figure out the stream. Oh, quality. bars look good. Still good? So, yeah. I, th I think it's fine. Please try F-150 support. Yeah, so the F-150 is pretty similar to this one, actually. The only difference is it's canopy, so it needs the red panda and the steering message is different. They use like a new one for Blue Cruise. So that one is should be very doable. Um, one of the tricky parts of that might be to finding an easy place to install it. Um, we had an F-150 in our office briefly. And uh, do you have a route you wanna go on? Uh, no, just drive north, I guess. Okay. And I'll show off experimental mode. Uh, yeah, let me figure out how to engage. Which buttons do we press? I know, there's a lot of buttons. Uh, it's, All right, again, press a bunch of buttons. Yeah. All right, so this is in experiment, experimental mode, right? Yes. All right, So we should see it stop for that upcoming stop sign. So we can see the path turn red at the end there, which means it's going to slow down. You guys might notice the new path. We call it Rainbow Road. Yeah, so when it's, you can see 
see the color green means accelerate, red means brake. So see if I brake here now, it's gonna wanna brake and then everything turns red. Uh, I'm just gonna go on the five north, right? All right. And as soon as we're on the on ramp, it'll wanna accelerate, so it should turn green. But yeah, about the Ford platform. So we support six in the initial release, 092, that will support them. And uh, we can basically support any that have the lane centering and aren't CAN-FD pretty easily. You just have to add a fingerprint, essentially. Um, Sorry, it's going full green on the on-ramp. Yeah, let's speed up. Can you guys see that UI? Yeah, maybe it's difficult to see from the screen. F-150 but... without blue cruise, but has adaptive cruise and lane centering. Uh, yeah, probably. But we might put up a bounty for the F-150. Because um, the Mach-E is also the same platform. So everything is there for you, except uh, it won't steer. So if you want a fun little project, you can get a Comma 3 and uh, play around with that. It'll, like, parse the speed. It'll do all that for you. It just won't steer. We'll just drive north a bit on experimental mode, right? And see what happens. Yeah, let's do it. So this is Ford Long, that's not shipped yet, right? This is yeah, so in 092 it's lateral only. But the exciting thing about Ford is we should have the radar and preserve AB. So we should be able to ship uh, longitudinal as a default and release pretty soon after. And then it'll be a toggle in master, um, like in the next few days. Oh, it's going to be? Yeah. Oh, so we should be able to release? Okay. Yeah, so it should ship to release fairly soon. Yeah, the Fords are super nice. They're like the TSS2 Toyotas. Yeah, it's a really good platform. I mean, the steering at low speed is really good. How are you guys enjoying 092 so far? Hard to see UI from here. Stream quality isn't helping. Let me zoom in a little bit. Yeah, I mean, if you can't see it, basically, what, so there, there's two big changes to the UI that we made in 092. Uh, the first is we added, uh, for end-to-end -end longitudinal, the path is going to be green in parts that it wants to accelerate and red in parts it wants to decelerate. And it gives a very clear indication of exactly what the car is going to do uh, for end-to-end -end long. And then the other big change is, before we used to uh, show the model predictions of what the model wants to do, and those kind of meant something obscure. Uh, the model outputs go into a, like a planning system, uh, the PC, and that outputs the actual plan that the car will try to drive. And so that's what we show now in the UI. It's more smooth and also reflects better what the car is actually going to do. You'll see that the path doesn't move around at all, uh, which it did most to. Um, but yeah, so those are the major, major changes to the UI. Do people have any questions? Or things? No questions. Yeah, some other highlights from 092. Your device should boot up quite a bit faster. Uh, we've also got a new model in there, trained with a new data set. We're kind of hoping to ship new models like that fairly frequently. That might not have an impact on you, but we feel very confident in like, our testing. Um, that we should be able to ship refactors and stuff like that. Yeah, no, it's important that we keep shipping new models just so that we you know, know we can pop that to make changes. When is 092 being released? So it's in Devel right now, and it'll be in release. Uh, it's slated for Monday. I think there was another change that's worth talking about 092. Is there anything, so we're still writing a blog post. Anything you guys want us to discuss in depth in the blog post? Is Maverick supported? I believe so. You can go on the compatibility page right now, comai slash vehicles, and that's all up to date. A lot of cars. Um, oh, a lot of car support. Yeah. Nice. Coming to Bolt with 092. Below six miles an hour. Uh, no. But there is some Bolt tuning. Somebody wants to know what's special about the Nicki Minaj model. Uh, the Nicki Minaj model is also just kind of a refactor. It's just getting ready for a navigate on open pilot. This is the first model we trained that accepts nav features as an input. Uh, but that doesn't mean that it's really that good at navigating on open pilot yet. It's just kind of a in between step. We should really affect Yes, Cameron confirmed the Maverick is supported. So if you've got a Maverick, you can head on to the site and you can buy a device and it'll just work in your Ford Maverick. Um, 
the low speed in particular is really nice. The Anton Long on the Bronco and the other Fords is super nice. Like from 20 to 40 miles an hour. Oh, yeah, the other thing, when we made the changes to the MPC to uh, support drawing, we noticed there was a small bug that caused us a small amount of turn cutting that's been fixed. So in some cases, people were getting a little too close to the inside of the turn because of this, and so this has been improved. So we could enjoy that. Oh, we've got the hiring bounty to talk about too. I forgot about that. So we're going to announce a hiring bounty where if you refer somebody who we hire and keep around for two months, you'll get a comma three and three thousand dollars. So if you know anybody, refer them. Uh, we'll take our challenges, we'll interview, them, and you can get some money. How close are you all to releasing taco drives for production? taco drive which are necessary that are not really shipped by default which is it went long you know which is in experimental mode right now and the other is navigator and autopilot so navigator and autopilot is what we're working on pretty hard right now so we want to ship navigator and autopilot so that as soon as you enter a destination in the map you'll start using the map as an input um, to get to that destination so it should take exits it should try to take turns it should slow down for turns that sort of stuff yeah, so that's a work in progress. I mean, there are branches that do this. Some people have been trying them. We've been trying to make people want to kind of see the progress, but we're still figuring out a few more things before we feel comfortable uh, shipping that to master. The thing is that this affects all driving. This is a pretty big uh, architectural change to have the model also understand maps and to take maps as an input and to rely on maps. So there's just a lot of new tests to be written, which is why it's taking so long. But uh, yeah, we're focused on that. Where can I find more info on the Bounty Hiring Program? Uh, we'll probably tweet about it. Maybe Alex will tweet about it today. Um, you're all about hiring. What's the salary for with a few years of experience? Uh, I, don't know, I think typically George has said it. People ask this if, if that's your first question. Uh, might not be for you. Um, take a look at our challenges. If they look like something that you'd like to do, um, I'd say try it out. If not, it's probably not a good fit anyway. Anybody have hiring questions? We'll take open pile questions, hiring questions. Uh, can I buy an F-150 to add to my C3? Uh, it won't work out of the box, but if you have any software engineering experience, uh, it should be a very doable project. All you have to do is, you know, the message is already defined in the DBC. Uh, I'm not quite sure what's left to do with that. I think it might be figuring out the checksum, but it should be, pretty straightforward, like maybe a weekend or two weekend kind of project. So if nobody's got any questions at the moment, another thing is uh, trying to fix just some small complaints that people have. Uh, so if there's anything that's been bothering you about old pilots, some annoyances, please uh, go talk about them. You mentioned down the stream, we can uh, talk about them. I, I know one big one is people want to adjust to the follow distance. Uh, the reason that hasn't happened yet is just you know, we want, we want to guarantee that the cars will slow down in time and accelerate in time, and that's harder to do when uh, there's multiple settings for the car to be in. So that's why it's taking so long, but everyone wants it, so I think we're, we're going to make the effort to do that. We'll offer a slightly shorter follow distance than now and a longer one. Customer support engineer role, must that be local in San Diego? I think so, but uh, yeah, you can email in if you think you're a strong candidate, but I mean, the bar is kind of high for all rules. Yeah, I mean, all jobs are always local in San Diego. Does anyone have any complaints? Yeah, complaints are just as good as questions. Yeah, just any annoyances you have, anything you'd like to see fixed. We've got some good thermal improvements coming in the next release. We're hoping to ship 093 pretty quickly. We know 092 took a while. It's kind of a big release. Um, 093 should be out uh, kind of on a normal cadence. What else do we have slated for 093? We've got some good stuff. We want to try to do some UI stuff where we, uh, we want to improve steer saturated and the minimum steer speed and kind of show them continuously in the UI. So it should show you it's kind of deviating and then it's not just a sudden alert you get. 
them. You should expect it. And perhaps you take over beforehand and you don't get an alert at all. I mean, yeah, most people, I think, uh, people that have a car that has limited steering torque, you probably know when turns are coming up that it's not going to be able to make it and it's kind of annoying to have to be alerted every time. It's annoying on some of our cars like the Civic, so kind of do that more smoothly. One guy says the Civic ping pong's a little on the highway. If you post in the Discord a driving feedback channel, um, it'll tell you how to make a good bug report, and then we can look into it. Uh, no real complaints, though I'd love to see experimental mode for the Bolt. Uh, experimental mode exists for the Bolt in non-release branches, so you can run Devel or Master, um, and, and you can get it. That's because there's no AB and vision only, right? Yeah, actually you do get AB on the Bolt, it's vision only is the problem. Oh, I see. Also, it's, it's kind of alpha. Right. Yeah, I mean, if you post complaints on Discord about like driving behavior, we may not necessarily reply to all complaints, but we definitely look at them. And it's a very helpful way to, for us to kind of steer what we fix and what we think are issues. You guys see how smooth the steering wheel is in this? The Bronco is like one of the best new cars we've shipped in a long time. When is Tor Controller steering coming to the rest of the fleet? Uh, the metrics that we showed you guys are one of the first steps to that. Uh, We've kind of been doing it piecemeal, but we want better ways to evaluate this. Um, so what car does that person have? It, it's Jason, it's sort of VWs. Oh, for VWs. I mean, yeah, VW has this non-major problem, but we still need to figure out. Have you thought about integrating MADS? No. We're, we're pretty particular about this, but one thing new in 092 doesn't affect you guys who are already users is uh, NDOG is the default now. Um, it was, users vastly preferred it, about 60% of people toggled it. Um, and if you don't know the acronym NDOG, it's no disengage on gas. So you can use the gas pedal to override. Uh, the toggle is still there, so you can toggle back to disengage on gas, um, but it's up to you. How does the testing simulation work for testing end-to-end -end longitudinal experimental mode behavior? Well, I mean, this is the biggest bottleneck right now in making experimental mode into a lot better, is that we don't have good testing infrastructure for this. So basically the simulator that we Use, use some kind of depth projection so that we can move the car from its original position. Um, this means we can also make the car go faster and slower than it did, which is how we can simulate it quite long. But the problem is we have very limited range. It's, you know, if you do depth projection, you move the car forward a lot or back a lot, you start getting artifacts. So it's very limited simulation, and this is why that we're uh, not making more progress on that. As soon as we uh, I mean, we're working on machine learning simulation that should have no limits. And as soon as that works, we'll get better tests for it when long and can also iterate it on it better. Uh, yeah. These are good questions. Good questions. Uh, RAM start speed. Yeah, only some of them start at zero. Um, when can we expect 2023 Palestine until you're joining an official support list? Oh, it's sunny. Uh, I know it was a big change. I'll ask Shane when we're back. Um, you can always ping Shane if you have like a some car stuff. Um, it's always hard to prioritize that. There's so many new cars coming in the ecosystem. Um, what's the holdup for Nav on OP and experimental mode and master? Uh, so Nav on OP, the plan's not really to send it to experimental mode. We kind of just want to ship it uh, directly to a release uh, to master as the default, so as soon as you put on the map. And I mean, what's the holdup? Yeah, I was talking about it a bit before. Um, it's just, it's a massive new input that changes, you know, everything in driving, because now the model will learn to look at the map and rely on the map. So if the map has issues, this can cause issues. So it's just a lot of tests we have to write and a lot of verification. Um, but yeah, well, I mean, we're working on it. Uh, there are a lot of branches that do this if you want to try it. Uh, but for shipping to master, we just need to fix a few more small things. Let me try to show you guys the UI while we're at a low speed. The new path. Oh, I got a notification that you uh, unbuckled your seatbelt. You see how the path is green now? And then, that means it's accelerating. Yeah. And then it's gray. So I want to. You see it's green again and it's cool because it shows you how much it wants to accelerate at which point in the path before it was one color and it wasn't very stable 
just, just squint your eyes. Uh, sorry guys, we'll get better at this. Uh, I think this is already a bit better than last stream. <laughs> yeah, we're not very good at the streaming stuff, but we're learning. Just like everything else we do, we'll get better every time. Iterate, no regressions. But at least we introduced ourselves this time, so we're making progress. <laughs> Does experimental mode use map data at all for speed limits? No. Uh, yes, it's all machine learning based. The idea is kind of that, you know, the machine learning opinion about how fast you should drive is kind of the best uh, we can do. And then if you want to abide by the speed limit, you should just set the cruise speed to that and then it won't exceed that. Fighting hard for comma, we desperately need competition to keep everyone on their toes. Does it try and reach that max speed? No, it just uses it as an upper bound. Yeah, so Mullen does exactly, just all does everything it wants to do, so everything is learned from human driving, and uh, there's just an upper bound on the first speed. Just joined, what Ford is this going to be available for? It's, oh, Nick's SI. What's up, Nick? Um, so it's available for six Fords, the Maverick, the Bronco Sport. Kuga and a few more. You can go to the website right now, type in Ford um, and some Lincolns. Was there anything very particular about the interface of these new Fords? Uh, I mean, what do you mean? This is the the uh, first Fords we support? Only new models will be supported. Lockout still not hacked. That is correct. Ford is one of the biggest auto and you, yes. This is kind of the last big brand we didn't support. So it's very exciting. And when we've got the F-150, uh, we see we have lots of Ram users. Um, we're trying to get your Ram 2500 and 3500s upstream soon. Uh, Vivek's working on that. Yeah, the Ram was a whole bunch of issues. It's taller than any car we supported. It's heavier, it's got different weight distribution. It's got different steering interface. Are the checks on the hybrids different? Yeah, so there was an issue with the Ford hybrids in particular. Um, Shane suspects it's an issue with messages coming out of a particular gateway on those cars. Um, we had to revert them for this release. It, the quality just wasn't up to where we wanted it. So you'd get random corruption um, of some of the checksums in the counters, which the uh, we found the, the stock camera was very much okay with but uh, it uses this other signal called the quality flag. You all should make it so you can live stream right off of the Comma 3. Yeah, pretty soon with the body, hopefully. Uh, we want the remote control to be very good very soon. Um, it's kind of the first step. Yeah, we're kind of experimenting with the body with the stuff like live streaming and, uh, you know, remote control, but all this stuff inspires improvements that ultimately lead to Open Pilot 2. So if we can control the body through connect and live stream the audio and the video and control the body that you know likely will also end up working for the comma 3 when it's in your car so you should just be able to connect to your device whenever you want sentry mode yes it's still on the list how long do you think before we can buy a c3 install f-150 plug and play and use it we don't really give timelines but um there seems to be lots of interest in the f-150 and it makes sense so we'll uh Probably put up a bounty for that. When requesting a maneuver on the gateway? What do you mean a maneuver? Thoughts on Tesla going end to end? I don't really understand their version scheme. They're going from like 11.4 to 12 in some unknown amount of time, whenever that's end to end. End to end is the only way anyway, so like it makes sense for them to go end to end. But we've seen nothing from the release notes that uh, imply this is it's what they're not working in any way surprising. But I think their end to end in this case means that they are, so they used to have uh, classical perception and then hand coded uh, planning. Yeah. And so I think what they're doing now is they're doing uh, so classical perception and then machine learning planning, but there's still a human understandable intermediate layer, as far as I understand. So it is a step closer to end to end. But I would say I think it's not. Quite I mean, Elon's tweet was ambiguous, but 
it sounds more like what we're doing than that. I don't know, that's what I read somewhere. I don't know how I do it. It's, it might be full end-to-end. -end. But either way, I mean, end-to-end -end is the only thing that makes sense. We've been saying this for years. Anyone try out 092 driving on Master? A lot of you guys are on Master these days. There's like almost 300 of you. Master is too reliable. Does Third Paradigm use overrides to punish the model during training? Um, yes, but Third Paradigm is kind of hypothetical at the moment. It's not like we've trained anything like that. But yes, if we do that, yes. Right now we're getting the humans in the loop with that cool dashboard. Yeah. Man, I wish this wasn't potato quality. It's kind of a nice drive. Yeah. Look how old the blooming uh, California family has brain. Master CI hasn't failed to build in a long time. Great testing. Well, Master CI won't. It wouldn't get pushed to Master CI, but I appreciate the uh, comments about testing. Testing is very important. It's uh, why we can do so much with this multi. Uh, maybe we'll do a couple more questions and then uh, call it a day. Yeah. Let's say two more questions. Anybody got anything else? Or any complaints that you want us to fix? Yeah, anything you want us to fix? Anything you want us to talk about on the blog post for 092? I think the old website looked more clean and professional. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're constantly iterating on the website. Uh, I think experimental mode and chill mode should have separate cruise speed settings. Uh, I don't even know how that would work. That sounds confusing. Here in Brazil, we do not have this Bronco, the BSM is sophisticated equals. What is BSM? Progress to taco, quote? I don't know what that means. Maybe we already went. Alright, we're getting a lot of random comments now, no questions. Uh, Alright, we can do a few more if people still ask questions. Blind. You know, I, I know that's what BSM means, but that didn't make sense in the guy's question. Also, who's comma Brazil? I didn't know we had a Brazil division. <laughs> Brazil. Isn't it that, that one guy who's pretty active in the community from Brazil? There's a RAV4. Oh, you did mean blind spot monitor. The BSM is sophisticated equal to the. I still don't understand the question. Uh, is there a plan release for navigating on open pilot? Uh, I mean, you talked about this twice now earlier on the stream, so... I mean, do you want to tell them? Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the plan is just to... Uh, there's, if there's some work in progress, uh, you can try our branches if you want. There's a few more fixes we want to do, and then we'll release it. But yeah, the plan is to go not to experimental mode, but straight to uh, master. So as soon as if you ever put in a nav destination, it will use the map. Oh, progress to taco meaning do you want an update on taco stuff? Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's time for that. Maybe once we, get, we should navigate on open pilot. If you have points from the corner raiders like EV6, uh, no. What's now the biggest auto that's unsupported? Um, probably Toyota Security. As far as brands, we're pretty well covered now. Twenty-three Prius looks really nice. All right, guys. I think if uh, no one has any more questions, we'll just call it a day. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, if you got any complaints, post on our Discord.